Hey guys, Bugs Education here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 beginner tutorial series. And in today's episode, we're going to be finally getting around to painting our terrains inside of Unreal Engine 4. So today, we're going to be breaking down our terrain materials, uh, taking a look at the different components that we create inside of them, uh, some of the different nodes that we use, what they do, putting in our own textures and then most importantly we're going to be using some of the paint tools to actually uh, put those textures onto our terrain. So you can see here I've just got a basic terrain that I've sculpted. I've got uh, a bunch of little rocky mountains and I've got a little pathway through the middle and you can see we're using three different textures. We've got grass, gravel and then our dirt texture and that's pretty much what we're going to be creating today so let's just go ahead and start off by taking a look at the material you can see it's actually quite simple regardless of how many nodes you've got so most importantly you've got the terrain material here and then we've got our base color which is diffuse which basically gives your material its color uh, the grass look the gravel look and the uh, the rock look and then we've got the normal and uh, you can see they give them the depth and then we've got that hooked up into our little layer blend nodes. Now this is probably the most important part for terrain materials. What these do is essentially allow you to break down your material into different layers ready for painting. And you can see here we've got the rock layer, the gravel layer, and the grass layer. And the last node we got here is the landscape coordinates, which basically tells the engine um, how, how you want to scale the textures onto your terrain. So without further ado, let's go ahead and create our new uh, terrain material. So let's just go ahead and close that and I'm going to go to uh, in the content browser anywhere you like just create a new material just right click go to material and we're going to name this terrain material. So now that we've done that let's just go ahead and open it up and you can see that we've got a blank canvas here. So let's just go ahead and create those most important layer uh, landscape uh, landscape nodes. So the first one is the layer blend and this allows us to break down our uh, material into a few different layers. So to create the layers, uh, you've got to add a new element. You can do that by coming over here and clicking add element once, twice and three times. And you're going to click that as many times as you want for the uh, different materials you, you want inside of your uh, material. So I'm going to have grass, rock and gravel. So I'm going to have three elements and I'm going to go ahead and name this. The first one is going to be rock and you just go to layer name there to change that. The second one is going to be gravel and the third one is going to be grass and you can see that it's changing the names here as well for you. So we're also going to be playing around with a few different settings here. I'm not going to explain them in too much detail but go ahead and change your preview weight to 0 0.5 0 0.5 and that's uh, for all of these and we're also going to change the blend type to uh, height blend and do that for all of these accordingly. So let's just go ahead and do that. And boom, done. And we're also going to create a landscape uh, coordinates node as well. This is just for scaling like I said to you. So now we've actually got this. This is probably the most important part. Let's just go ahead and uh, hook the layer blend bit into base color. And this will give us our basic color. But at the moment, it's just black. We haven't got any textures. We haven't defined anything as of yet. So let's go ahead and choose a few uh, textures uh, to use. So Unreal Engine 4 comes with a whole bunch of textures that we can play around with. Um, so let's just go ahead and open up the content browser. Go to starter content and textures. And you can see we've got quite a few in here. I'm just going to do a quick search. And I'm going to type in, uh, let's go for rock first. So I'm going to type in rock and I'm going to use this basalt underscore D. D is for diffuse or something completely different, which I'm not going to mention, but there you are. So let's just go ahead and uh, hook the UVs up into the landscape coordinates. And then what we're going to do is hold, uh, put the RGB, um, which is the color, into layer and then rock. And then the alpha into the height rock, just like that. And then if I go ahead and press apply, and you can see we've actually got a bit of a rocky material now. We need to do the same thing for all of our different uh, material, all the different texts we have. So let's get the gravel one next. Type in gravel, click it, drag it in, and hook that up into layer gravel. And then height gravel, just like that. And the last one, let's type in grass, do the same, click, drag, layer grass, and height grass. So that is pretty much everything we actually need for a basic uh, terrain material. So if I was to go ahead and go to manage 
and then or, or just quickly delete the landscape entirely go to landscape and then go to create new and material let's type in terrain and choose the one we just created which was terrain material as you can see up here and we're just going to go ahead and press create and once it's actually done compiling the shaders you should see it should be all in uh, grass so what I'm going to do before then is I'm going to quickly make um, some little mountains real quick I showed you how to do basic sh uh, sculpting in the previous episode um, if you want to take a look at that go ahead if not uh, don't worry about it here we go just basic mountains we've got blood mountains mountains gonna put a bit uh, gonna put a bit of erosion on there make it look a little bit more realistic but that's pretty much all I'm really gonna uh, touch into now so just give it a second to finish uh, compiling the shaders you can see the progress in the bottom right hand corner here uh, good turn up turn down that and you can see now that it's all in uh, it's all in grass this is our main uh, our main material pretty much so let's go ahead and start painting these you can see here we've got our different layers rock gravel and grass uh, you got to press the little paint tab here and if I try and like click and paint we get this little error message this layer has no layer info assigned yet you must create or assign a layer info before you can paint this layer just go ahead and press ok and then we're gonna go and uh, press the create layer info button here next to each of our layers and we got to do this for each and every one so let's just go ahead and click that for rock first and go to weight blended layer normal once we've done that we can just chuck it anywhere and we're going to name it rock layer info press ok and then just do the same for all the rest of them try put them in the same place if possible and boom done and now we can actually start painting these so first things first i'm going to grab the rock layer I'm going to go to the paint tool, make sure that's selected. I'm going to go to brush size. I'm going to turn that up a bit. And I'm just going to paint the whole terrain in this lovely rock that we have. Now, if we go and zoom in, you can see the rock is now on the uh, terrain. Ignore these little uh, grid lines we have here. This is just because we haven't built the lighting. But you can see we have got our rock uh, texture on there. Now you can see it's very small at the moment. We can actually play around with that by using the uh, texture coordinates bit that I showed you. So to do that, just go ahead, come over here, go to scale, and I'm going to set that to 5, 5, and 5 press apply it should start compiling the shaders again and you should be able to see it gets just that much bigger just give it a second and any second now <laughs> come on sorry I should really pause this but uh, I'm just too lazy for the extra editing come on take your time uh, you know what? I'm, yep, there we go. And now you can see it's a little bit more, it's a little bit bigger, a little bit more realistic, and uh, you know, it just looks nice. That's all I got to say. Okay, so let's put on the next layer. So I'm going to turn down the brush size over here, and I'm just going to put some basic gravel around the edges of our mountains. And you can see that it's doing that gray tiling thing again, simply because it hasn't compiled yet. If you give it a minute, it will go back to normal, and you'll actually be able to see what you're doing you can see it says it's compiling shaders in the bottom right hand corner so let's just go ahead and keep painting and now you can see we've got it uh, around here so one last layer and that is going to be our grass so I'm just going to put some grass up in here it's going to start compiling again obviously once it's done the first done it the first time you won't have to do it again and I'm going to also paint another quick layer of gravel through the middle of the grass turning down my brush size just like that now we can play around with the material a little bit more if we wanted to because uh, at the moment it's very flat very basic and it's also a little bit shiny which is probably not what we want so let's just go ahead and open up this terrain material and we're going to use something called a normal map what a normal map does is essentially uh, tells the engine to add a bit of fake depth to our material so let's show you what a normal map is so I'm gonna go ahead and type in rock in here again under textures and you can see we've got this little blue texture here and this just defines that depth so let's just go ahead and duplicate the layer blend bit and the landscape coordinates just control C control V and then this time instead of hooking up into the fuse we're gonna use normal so just hook it up like that 
and we're going to be using the normal map so just click and drag to bring those in so this one is the rock we're going to hook the rgb into layer rock and then the height into the alpha and obviously we're going to hook up the rgbs again and uh, the next one is what do we got gravel uh, let's just go ahead and drag this in Ooh, sorry yep just drag in your gravel same as last time layer height uvs and then the last one should be grass so let's just go ahead and play around with it. no it's the normal one click drag nope done and done and then play around with the uvs and then i'm just going to go ahead and press apply it should start re recompiling in the background but you can see in our material editor we got that little bit of extra fake depth now and uh, when we actually go into it you can see it all in a little bit more detail now if you want to do uh, play around with things like the metallic or the roughness to change how shiny it is whatever you're going to be pretty much doing the same thing where you add in the extra layer blend and all the different uh, layers that you have so if you just give it a second now it should just finish recompiling and uh, we can actually see what we started creating uh, just give it a second okay so here we go we can see that we've now got our normal map applied you can see the rock has a little bit more detail if I just go ahead and press play and jump in and you can see that detail come to life now this was just a quick little terrain um, it doesn't look anywhere close to realistic but for those of you that do know how to use the material editor feel free to go ahead and play around with it to get it in a little bit more detail get the colors right and uh, so on and so forth but that's pretty much everything for this video thanks for watching comment like and subscribe and i will see you next time goodbye